Hey guys, welcome back to Chaotic TV. More selected games from Iron Squid Chapter 2. This is from Group F, Match 5. And these two players are former teammates of Team Slayers. In the bottom left we have the Red Terran. He is MMA, now playing for Team Acer. And in the top right we have the Blue Protoss, his opponent on Cloud Kingdom. Play formerly Slayers, now playing for Team Azubu. He is genius with a Korean tag. Now I've been trying to learn Hangul, but I haven't really learned it yet. Uh, I really wanted to showcase this because my buddy is a real big fan of MMA. Actually had a signed GG button by him when we were at IPL4 in Vegas. I really wish I could have gone to IPL5, but it was not in the financial cards this December. And my might have been better because I had more money to spend on Chaotic TV. So, we have MMA and Genius, former team teammates. They still know each other's style, because it was only very recently that Slayers disbanded in November. And we will just have to see what kind of mind games, if any, unfold from between these two. Genius took second place of GSL 2012 Season 1 against Don Ray Goo. We have a gas coming out after after the gateway to prep for that but that cybernetics core. The timing for that is pretty standard, of course, and the gas quickly after the barracks for MMA. A scouting is actually being done for Genius. So he's gonna see what MMA has blocked off with that supply depot. He goes for the full health one as opposed to the lower health one and an SCV comes down to finish that SC that supply depot off beforehand. Doesn't want to let his former teammate know anything of what's going on in his head. That's a cybernetic score coming down for uh, excuse me, for Azubu's genius. And MMA himself taking out I believe I forget who it was, but it was a huge game in the GSTL Season 2 of 2012, giving Slayers their second victory. Uh, I can't remember who it was off the top of my head, but it was a great game. It's always it's free on GOM TV's VODs, if you want to watch it, as being one of their most popular videos. And we just see some pretty standard play coming out of both these players. We don't see a command center first. We see a factory first coming out of MMA. Our, our one Barracks Expand is not there. It's a factory first. He's probably going for that 1-1-1 build. He might not. He's not going for a cloak banshee because he hasn't put down that second gas yet. And we just see no chrono boost on this cybernetic score for that warp gate, so there's not going to be any super early warp prism play. This stalker is out here trying to get rid of this SCV and take a little bit of map control against these early marines because one stalker will kill all a number of marines before being taken out himself. And if he just run away, his shields will replenish. So we see some sentry coming out in the starport, of course, for MMA. He's going to be doing some... Ooh. Will he be following MKP's lead, as we saw in a most recent game, and go for uh, some early tech aggression with Marines and Hellions, or will he be simply going for the Banshee play that we've seen so often out of Terrans of late? Second gas coming down for Genius, as well as two more gateways, so we see three gates total. Warp Gate's about to finish. It doesn't really make sense unless you're going to chunk out a lot of units to get a bunch of gateways before Warp Gate finishes, because you're just going to wait till the gateway finishes, or Warp Gate finishes anyway. So a very economic build coming out of Genius. He's obviously practiced this a lot. A second gas coming down right before the robotics facility. I love it when players time their builds on the number of resources they have, a little bit of a probe transfer coming down, and then the Marines moving across the map from MMA. He's probably going to expand behind this, and we don't see a Banshee come out of this, we do see a Medivac. Always a good play. And this is a little bit reminiscent of Marine King's play that we just recently saw, so this may be a new meta for Terrans with uh, elevator play, especially on this kind of map, because we saw... Yeah, it might be map specific because we saw Marine King do the exact same thing. With a little bit of micro, MMA is just going to move past everything. And if he's going to catch all these SCVs on the map, oh, look at that. Big force field saves him. Only three S three probes die, but we see an elevator uh, drop going in right now. 
the stalkers try to take out that medevac, but uh, the medevac gets out of there before, and a big warp in of zealots saves everything. And Marie and MMA has to move across the map again. Observer going across the map for Genius to see exactly what his former teammate is doing. So that was a well held push by Genius, a good attempt by MMA, and he is in fact building his command center on the high ground behind it in case there's a uh, return push from from Genius up his ramp. So MMA is going to push his, he's going to probably build his orbital command on the high ground and then move to the lower ground. Yep, he's going to drop a mule up here before he moves his command center here just to keep that ec economic, as as much of an economic gain as he can out of that orbital command so it's not wasting energy just hanging out in the air. More, two more gases coming down for Genius, and we don't see any tech out of him, except uh, I'm completely wrong about that. He is building a... There it is. Thank you. The Robotics Bay is going to be going into some Colossus tech. He might actually get a Speed Warp Prism, which would be pretty darn cool if he's that kind of player. I haven't really... I've watched him play a lot, but I haven't really taken note of his style. Way oversaturated on MMA's... Uh, main base right here. He's going to see a huge SCV transfer hopefully soon. Uh, there's a couple right now. Just three. And I need more Coke Zero before this next match. Hopefully I'll last and my throat won't get too raw from this one. Looks like Genius is getting ready to take his own third base. He's protecting it with this uh, little bit of, of units, but MMA is coming in with another drop and this does Genius see this? No. Okay, he's already got enough units back here, ready for a warp end for safety's sake. And MMA's drop is shut down even before he gets out. Taking out the taking the Zelnaga tower. MMA does this drop anyway, even though there are already units here. Zealots are being warped in, and this drop is shut down quick, fast, and in a hurry. Big pick up and drop micro by MMA, he's doing what he can to kill off these zealots. But another warp end is going to come in behind this. And he kills off everything on this base, and the probes finally have to be killed, but everything walks in to save the probe lines. Took us as a Colossus, a number of sentries and zealots come in. More stalkers being warped in to hopefully snipe off that really weak medevac. They're going to drop everything so that they don't get sniped off, and so they can heal up their occupants. More might come across this little hitch right here, but he will have to replace these medevacs before he does any more drop play. Uh, he's leaving a um, marine there to make sure he knows when Genius puts down his third nexus. We see a lot more barracks coming out for MMA, and nothing out of the factory, but we still continued Viking production because he saw that Colossus, and we see another Colossus coming out as well as extended thermal lands. Plus one weapons, plus one armor, plus one Terran shields, and concussive shells coming out. He's going to throw down a couple more uh, tech labs to get those marauders going out quick, fast, and in a hurry. Three of them on the ground uh, in the production line right now. Pardon the sniffle. It's something you'd have to do when you're sick. <laughs> we see more Vikings come out. I hope he doesn't skimp on the medevac production, but he does actually need a third base quick, fast, because these two players are going past the 10-minute mark without third base. At 15 minutes, their home mineral lines are going to start dwindling, and he's going to start hearing that uh, mineral patch depleted. But this observer is seeing, saw something, and is chasing this whole line right now. And these two Colossus are going to jump on the high ground to fight this uh, drop that may come in. Does MMA know that he's being scouted right now? A uh, big medevac goes home, and it looks like he's splitting up his forces to do something interesting. More... Mm, he's stemmed to run away something. Alright, we see the factory coming in and the big stem home. That's one medevac is going to be depleted of energy once it finishes healing all these guys. He needs a big viking count. I think he might be going for an end, a be-all, end-all right now. MMA's got a huge push coming in. He's got a huge army com p compared to um, geniuses. He's got 20 supply up an army and the harvester count is just a little bit the same. He picks off some stalkers. That's oh so important, seeing as he's already got the larger supply. Takes out a 
uh, another st uh, zealot. There's no charge yet. It's still being researched. If he gets in, and this will be a great timing attack. He's got this medevac doing all it can to heal up these fellas so that they can... Oh, that's a huge number of marauders going to be able to take out this any number of colossi. And the Vikings here will take them out, and he'll just land the Vikings afterwards. Oh, this is a big problem for Genius. Scanning just to make sure that he has no observers above him. The Vikings are already here picking off a number of these uh, Colossi and a big SCV train comes in just for the, the final blow. MMA coming in for the all-in right now. He's going to be able to take out these Colossi before they do any damage to his main base with, or to his main group with these Vikings. Push up the ramp with the SCVs and they're getting soaked by the Zealots. The supply is just dropping right now for Genius and Genius is running away trying to delay this push, trying to make him re-stem and fail. And two, <laughs> three out of the four Colossi are already down. You can't be afraid of one Colossi with this many bio units. The Sentry's shield is up, but it's not going to do any good. The colo last Colossi falls, and the Stalkers are getting wiped out right now. GG comes from Genius, and MMA takes Game 1 on Cloud Kingdom of this series. So we're going to jump right into Game 2 from Chaotic TV. I am KO, and we'll see you in a second. Cheers.